Hello Internet, I'm Ben Lucas. This is a behind the scenes video for Galactic Pinups. This is Henry. He's my behind the scenes production assistant. I use Henry for lighting tests and that's what I'm setting up right now while I wait for the model. I thought I would tell you about the worst thing I've ever put into my face. It was absolutely atrocious. So enjoy this behind the scenes. Go get your Galactic Pinups calendar. Um, it is on Kickstarter, but when the Kickstarter ends, galacticpinups.com will redirect to the sales page on my website. So enjoy your calendar. Enjoy this behind the scenes video. Uh, go back it now or buy it from the site. And uh, stay tuned, and I will tell you about absolutely horrible thing that I put into my mouth. It was atrocious. All of this pain to bring you the absolute best drink recipes. For okay. life. Okay. It seems creepy. All that's right. what I'm supposed to do. One whole packet. Wait. Really quick, wasn't it two packets? Yes, it was. Just, just, <laughs> I just breathed Kool Aid. <laughs> Do you want a Dr. Pepper? I might need a Dr. Pepper, yeah. Okay, one sec. Probably shouldn't down an entire alcohol drink before my, my shoot. Now remember the safety rules of fizzy lifting drink. Only drink inside, never around ceiling fans, and don't forget to burp. Right? Yes, that is exactly how an adult drinks. <laughs> from an Erlenmeyer flask. <laughs> as, as soon as my friend Joe said that, I'm like, yep, damn you, Joe, we have to do this now. Okay, uh, let's figure out how to connect this. Yeah. We'll just suspend you from the ceiling. That's the theory. Essentially, yes. <laughs> The only thing that I would worry about is um, those rubbing on the ceiling. Technically, you're supposed to have eye hooks that you hook those into. Okay. Um, I think they're plenty strong enough that if you like hook them together over a beam, they'd be fine. I got an idea. I got to have something to like tuck your foot on. Okay. Um. Uh, go go ahead and come on over. Okay. Um, let's see where this needs to go before I put like 200 pounds of sandbags on it. I think this works. Okay. okay. We're good. That's safe. Ish. OSHA approved, I'm sure. <laughs> hey, hey, if you do fall, I'm a nurse, so you're fine. <laughs> I'm going to move this ladder so that you can. So that we can tuck. Safety first. I thought I had a short enough stand. I need a even shorter stand. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna fix your jacket. Can you can you push on that? A little bit. It, yep. It's just to get a little bit more bend because now now it's way too tall. Let's just see what we got. Why are you make it more comfortable? It is right. Yeah, that's actually. That. That's actually pretty good. I just have to get myself into it. Is that all right? Oh yeah, actually. Um, and this will be one where actually I think I might have to, I might want yeah. to rotate it a little bit. So I was like, I can't make myself rotate right now because I was actually like hanging. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to put this in just a little bit closer here. Nose towards me, chin up, and then give me the eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is my best friend. And then bring the hand in just a little bit, perfect. And then just go through a variety of pin up faces and smiles and stuff for me. Nose up. Nose towards me, just touch.
You made it to the end of the video. Welcome. I need to make good on that promise. So let me tell you um, about the secret of Cocktail Fight Club. The first rule, don't talk about Cocktail Fight Club. No, so it is a secret cabal of uh, people that are helping me get all of the absolute best drink recipes. As I mentioned in the Kickstarter pitch, by the time we're done, we will have tested nearly 200 drink recipes. That is a lot of drinking. Now, uh, <laughs> that may sound like fun, but when you get together in one night, we test anywhere between 12 to 15 different recipes. Uh, we make one, we split it between, you know, six or eight people, so you just get a very small taster. Um, and then once we have gone through the entire list, we go back to our favorite one and kind of tweak with the recipes that we found online. So all of these are just random things we found online, and you know how reliable the internet can be, right? 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 Anyway, you've never had a recipe that was so absolutely atrocious, you're like, why is that online? Well, guess what? We had some of those experiences. So, when we are testing, uh, like, Slurm or Brondo, um, we get one or two that are like, hmm, that's, that's interesting. And sometimes we land on one of like, oh, that is the slurmiest, hands down, we're done today. That That is the one we're looking for. And sometimes, like with the uh, Cat Eye Witcher Potion, it actually came down to two, and and they were both really, really good. One was amazingly delicious, five out of five. The other one's like, yeah, no, this is what a Witcher potion tastes like. So we're really torn about which one to put into the calendar. Still haven't made up my mind. But this one, we were testing Willy Wonka's fizzy lifting drink. Now, here's, here's the deal with that, okay? So when we were... <laughs> Finding recipes for this, because it is Willy Wonka, we found the weirdest recipes that we could. Uh, they included bubblegum vodka, and because this is the internet, it wasn't go buy it, it was put bubblegum in vodka to infuse it. Let me tell you right now, that is not how that works. It uh, made you gag on the nose, and then I took a first sip and immediately yelled to the group, do not drink this, it is awful. Um, and then of course two of them actually did. <laughs> and yeah, we all, we all gagged and it was horrible. So, um, the, one of the things that we uh, tried testing for this was doing a cocktail bomb. It's like a bath bomb, but for your drink. Uh, the problem with this is we found a recipe that we really, really liked, and um, I have liked this person's other recipes, but this one was just punching you in the nostril with baking soda. It stings the nostrils. It was not good. And then they said put it in gin. It was, it was still not good. Um, we tried changing the ratios, still not good. We tried putting in champagne. Um, all different kinds of things. So we... Uh, we tried a lot of different variants, and, uh, this was, this was basically what this drink testing group is for. I want to make sure that if I'm putting a recipe in the calendar, that you actually like it. The, that, that bubblegum infused vodka was literally the worst thing I've ever done in my life. It, it, I was, I was hacking for like half an hour. Do not do that at home. Um. But all of this to say, um, yeah, we, we got together and for most drink testing, we go through and we find some good ones. We're like, oh yeah, let's decide what's the best. Like, we kind of need to narrow it down. This one, uh, I think we tried eight different recipes and everyone was worse than the one before it and they were just all horrible. But um, that night was a complete failure. Uh, that so, so we went back to it and uh, we kept tweaking the recipe and kept working on it, and uh, we do believe that we have found you a very fun and delicious drink that is going to be in the calendar. So go watch the, uh, I'm going to link it below or you can see it um, on, on this video here. Go watch the Willy Wonka, how to make the fizzy lifting drink. Um, we do believe you will be satisfied with these results. And let me tell you, we went through a lot of pain and trials to get you to this final one. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's that story. Um, there, there is a lot of behind the scenes work going in to make sure that the things that we actually tell you are not duds. So, I do hope you enjoy the calendar, this video, and uh, the drink right there, and I will see you in the next one.